good morning and welcome back to my channel Ardell's Kitchen guys I will be sharing with you one of Guyana's um, traditional and that's butterflops but my butterflops would be with a twist it would be a cheesy butterflop yeah with a little flavor in it a cheesy flavor in it guys so I'm gonna take you through my rest of my ingredients and guys I've got a little um, bit of my um, food coloring that I would be using yeah in my cheesy buttery mixture just to give it a little bit of a yellow orangey color I've got my yeast sugar some salt I've got a little bit of um saison seasoning guys as well to give it a little bit of color I've got some butter softened butter I've got some cheese spread I would be using and I'll show you the cheese spread that I would be using guys um i would be using this one the dairy leaf cheese spread guys I would combine that with my butter and that would be my spread for my butter flap guys i'm in london so this is what i use yeah and this is from sainsbury's all right so guys here i've got some warm milk i've got some melted butter got some warm water and i've got my flour sifted two and a half cup of sifted plain flour okay so the next thing i would do guys is to go ahead and proof my yeast okay activate my yeast so i've got my jug here with some warm water so i'm gonna go ahead and add my sugar and i'm gonna give that a stir Then I'll add my dry yeast, mix it well, and then guys, I'm gonna leave this about 10 minutes to um to activate and rise up. Yeah, and then I'll be right back to show you. Alright, so I'm gonna set this aside and leave it for 10 minutes, and then we'll be right back. Okay, guys, this is my yeast here, and it's risen up beautifully. So I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to mix my dough, guys. So I've got my flour here. So I'm going to go ahead now and add my little salt. I'm going to add my butter, guys, my melted butter. I'm going to add my yeast mixture. And start mixing my dough if my dough are you need what you need now is a nice soft sticky dough but if your dough becomes too soft then you can add a little bit more flour until you get the desired texture that you want okay or if it's too dry you can go ahead and you can add some milk I've got some warm milk there, guys. I would be adding a little bit later. So I'll be mixing this guy with guys with my milk, my nice warm milk. So guys are gonna carry on um, kneading this into a nice smooth soft dough and we'll be right back so guys I finished um, mixing my dough so I'm gonna spray my bowl with some one some of this um nice buttery buttery flavored um baking spray yeah And I'm going to go ahead, guys, look at my dough. And I'm going to place my dough in here. See, I've got a nice, soft, smooth dough. So I'm going to go ahead now, guys, and I'm going to cover this with some cling wrap. 
and I'm gonna set this aside for about 30 minutes to rise up and we'll come back and I'll show you the next stage okay okay guys while, while I'm waiting for my um my dough to rise up I'm gonna go ahead and mix my um buttery cheesy spread for my butter flaps okay so I've got some butter here in the bowl guys and I'm gonna go ahead and add my cheese spread to the butter yeah and give that a good mix I'm also is gonna add a little dash of my food coloring to give it that nice color that I want yeah. so I'm gonna mix well here now guys My buttery cheesy spread for my butter flaps and I add a little bit more color just to give it a nice and a little bit of my Cajun seasoning just to give it a little bit taste and a little bit more of my rice Give it the desired color that I want. Yes, that's fine. It's most my um color mostly turn out yellow than orange, but um hey, who cares? This is a family. I'm doing this with love. Okay. So there you go, guys. Okay, and this is my spread. All right. okay guys this is my dough and it's raised beautifully so i'm gonna go ahead now guys and i'm gonna roll out my dough into little balls and then take you through this next step of my butter flap okay look at that i'm gonna go ahead and punch that down oh it's gorgeous yeah and take you through the next step and roll my dough out I've got my baking pan here guys lined with some parchment paper so I'll set that aside and I'll remove my dough knead it a little bit to get that air out yeah and it's sticky very soft and sticky so put a lot of flour yeah to prevent sticking and I'm gonna go ahead now guys and I'm gonna pinch it off into little dough balls see how many I get And this is how I pinching it off guys I could get my fancy cut the thing and cut them all out but I can't be bothered with any of that today guys I just pinch them off like this this is another way of doing it all right so I got about eight nine nine ten dough balls okay pinch some from me so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to very sticky so, flour, so I can handle it well I'm gonna do it like that like that guys and yeah I roll them out into little balls like that guys set it aside do the other one
So I'm going to go ahead and um, roll in these out, guys, and then I'll come back and show you when I'm done. Okay, this is my dough balls, guys, that I um, roll out. So I'm going to go ahead now, guys, and I'm going to roll them out and spread them with my cheesy, buttery filling, okay? Look at that, guys. My butter flaps has risen up nicely. Yeah, they all rolled out and looking beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to brush them with some melted butter and place them in my oven for about 25 minutes. All right. And then we'll come back and I'll show you the finished product. All right. So brush them down now with my melted butter. Like so. Alright guys, so we'll be right back to show you the finished product when I'm done. Okay guys, this is my butter flaps just come out of the oven. So what I'm going to do here guys. Okay guys, this is my butter flaps just come out of the oven. They're very hot. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and brush it with some of my melted butter. Yeah, like so. So it has that nice shiny looks and then I'll show you the finished product guys when I'm done okay all right so we'll be right back to show you the finished product guys okay guys this is the finished product of my butter flaps guys um this is not the traditional butter flaps that everybody knows guys this is my way and guys if you like my video please give me a thumbs up please like share and subscribe all my measurements and ingredients would be down in the description box if you're new to my channel you're welcome Please hit the subscription button and the little notification bell so you would be notified whenever I upload a video. Thank you guys for all your support. And guys, this is my cheesy butter flap and I'll show you. Look how soft that is, guys. And I'm going to break into one and show you what it looks like on the inside. Look at all those layers in there, guys. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Look at that buttery cheesy layer guys in there okay so guys if you like my video please subscribe and stay tuned for the next one thank you bye